Hey Peter, why are you not playing? Come, let's play together. <sighs> I want to play, but first I have to complete my homework on the place value and face value system. However, I am not able to grasp this concept. Oh, I recently learned this concept from Banzu. Let me help you, then we can play together. Thanks John. I understand the number line system and I also understand why 9 comes before 10. But how is it connected to the place and face value of numbers? See, let me explain to you through an example. This morning, my mom gave me a 20 rupee note to buy an ice cream. Let's expand this 20. Number 20 is nothing but two tens and zero ones. So the place value of zero is ones and the place value of two is tens. Yes, my ma'am taught me that place value refers to the way every digit is valued according to its position. But what about a number like 45 or a three digit number like 121? How will we find the place value for this number? To answer this question, let's jump into the number line and visualize this. Peter, we are standing at point zero. Let me show you how we can reach number 45. For every once we walk and for every tense we jump. In case of number 45, the place value of 5 is at 1's place and 4 is at 10's place. Which means we will jump 4 times because 4 times 10 is 40 and walk 5 steps from 40 to 45. Now that we are at 45, let's go to 121. At first, we need to expand 121 into 1s, 10s and 100s. The number 121 has 100, 2 10s and 1 1s. <sighs> Let me try this John. In this case, we can't walk or jump all the way to 120 as it is too far. So we need to try a different approach. Hmm. How about we fly 100 steps from 0 to 100 because 100 times 1 is 100. Awesome! Let's go! Let me try this John. Now that we are on 100, we need to jump twice from 100 to 120 because the 2 in 121 is at tens place. Then we can simply walk one step as the place value of 1 is at ones. Wow! This was so easy and fun! Yes, similarly, for 200, you fly twice. But, what about the face value of numbers? The face value of any digit in a number is exactly the same as the digit itself. What? That's right, Peter. Let's take any number, say 85. Now, 85 has 8 tens and 5 ones. That's their place value. But the face value of 8 and 5 in number 85 will be 8 and 5 only. That's even easier. In that case, for any other number like 62, the face value of 6 and 2 will be 6 and 2, right? Exactly. Peter, you learn so fast. I bet you can teach me a thing or two. No way, John. You're a mad genius. Well, 
I may be good at math, but even I had trouble understanding place value and face value at first. That's why I'm glad I found Bhanzu. Their experiential learning method makes math so much more fun and relatable. Plus, they have a whole range of courses to choose from. So you can find one that's right for you. That sounds amazing. I can't wait to join Bhanzu and become a math genius like you. Me too, Peter. Take the first step today by booking a free demo class and who knows, maybe one day we'll be breaking records just like Neelakanta Bhanu Prakash, the world's fastest human calculator.